backing up your NBA 2K EXE file for PC. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your NBA 2K directory. Today, I'll be using 2K17 as an example. All right, so here is my EXE file. And as soon as you get NBA 2K18, you'll want to do this as soon as you download it. Grab the EXE file, right click, go to copy. And then what you'll want to do is you'll want to create a new folder. You'll have to decide where you want to put that new folder. All right. So once you decide where to put the new folder, you'll need to name it something that you can remember. I'm going to name it NBA 2, oh, well, not NBA, but 2K Backup EXE. So open up that folder and inside of that, make yet another folder. Here, we're going to name it Original 2K, uh, well, Original 2K18 EXE. So inside of that, that is when you will paste your application file. And then we'll make another folder for when the patch one EXE file comes out. And after that, another folder for when the patch two EXE file comes out and so on and so on. Now, what this allows you to do is the original EXE, whenever you use that, you'll need to be offline. But what it will allow you to do is keep the original gameplay. It will remove all patches. And um, just know you'll have to be offline to use any, um, I'm trying to think, any of the old versions of the EXE file. You will have to be offline to use them because as soon as you connect to online, then it'll update. But yeah, all you will have to do is just drag it over to your 2K directory, which will be 2K18 once it comes out. Um, and just make sure you're offline before starting the game and you can play without the patches. But once you go online, it'll update. 